The city of North Adams is your quintessential New England mill town. Our whole economy really depended on the mills. And part of that shifting gears with our economy is, you know, how do we treat our environment? Things like the solar project today, the cleaning of the river, uh, some of the other things, the green initiatives within our schools, all of those things are very, very important to us now here in the city. And once I saw other communities, other places around Massachusetts, particularly in the, and in the greater Northeast, starting to do solar arrays, it, it really piqued my interest. And this is how we kind of got the ball rolling. It's a three and a half megawatt, 6,000 panel array. It's built on 14 acres of this cap landfill. And the other beauty about this project is it didn't cost the city a dime. An industry that's almost 100 plus thousand jobs across Massachusetts when you talk about clean energy and clean tech. And solar's been a massive part of that. And projects like this are those bricks in the wall that start to rebuild our energy future. In just the last decade, we've seen exponential growth in solar in the Commonwealth. We're fourth in the country for the amount of solar installed, and we've seen close to 30,000 solar projects installed all across the Commonwealth. Cities and towns in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts can certainly benefit from solar. It's easy, you just need to have a site and you need to have the desire to locate it. The reason we chose the Cap Landfill for a solar installation because it was the most logical choice. It was an area of property that could not have been served better than by a solar installation. That's gonna sit there and produce the energy needed to reduce the city's municipal budget Okay, help us be more environmentally friendly and more in line with the state initiatives that we're all trying to achieve at a local level. Really, that's what, uh, when we talk about energy policy at the state level, it's about how do we take control of our energy future. We certainly couldn't have done it without the support of Borrego Solar, who stood by our side throughout the entire project. The knowledge and the value that they brought to the project uh, was just great, and their accessibility uh, was wonderful. So, you know, Brago Solar on so many levels has just been great to work with. And the project was purchased by Sincarfa Capital, who uh, really were the ones that financed it in the end. The solar facility is really a win-win for both parties. Obviously, from the town's perspective, they're able to benefit from saving money and also getting green energy in their town. From Sincarfa's perspective, we're able to partner with a high-quality town and develop a, a strong return on our investment. And we came together around simple goals. Reduce the amount that we use, be smarter about what we use, and change what we use. The positive impacts that this will have in North Adams, I think certainly, you know, there's the economic benefits that we'll see. Certainly it's gonna benefit our budget and help reduce the city's electric cost. One of the things that we did as part of this project that I think is a really great option that Borrego Solar provided for us, our college here just put in a multi-million dollar science center, and we can now create a link that'll show them what's going on in that solar field on a day-by-day -day basis, how much energy is being generated, what kind of economic and environmental impact it's having. So I think, you know, the more that these students see these things, the more of an impact it's going to have on them. We can do so in a way that's consistent with our values, and this project shows us that if we put uh, our heads together, if we roll up our sleeves, that we can make things happen. It also becomes a teaching tool. It teaches our kids that we're really paying attention for them and for their future. This array that we've put up here today is also going to probably inspire many other communities that surround us to do the same thing. And I think it'll also inspire some of the residents to even think about doing it, you know, on their own homes. But again, for us, um, it was a no-brainer. It's always a step forward in improving the environment and the future for generations to come. Certainly my children will benefit from this 20 years down the road, as will many others.